All right, I'm reinstalling this uh, amplifier into this uh, Seberg LS2 Gem jukebox. I figured I would take a quick video just to show you where the amplifier goes in case anyone is curious how things work. This is a uh, Seberg uh, TSA-7 amplifier. And it's going to slide in on these two rails. There's a bottom rail that goes to the front, and then there's a secondary rail that starts back here. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it in partially, then I'll start hooking it up. Okay, so I've slid the uh, amplifier in partway until I clicked on this little thing here. And that gives me room to work on putting a couple of wires in. There's a uh, black wire and a white wire. Oh, of course, this one is just a dirty brown. And they go on two spots back here. I've kind of marked them with a uh, red magic marker so I can remember which ones. The black goes on this spot here. And the white goes on this here. If you didn't think about it, you'd think maybe they both would go on these terminals, but they don't. Uh, white goes here, black goes there. And to put them on, I'm going to use a, uh, a stubby little screwdriver. Uh, all right, with those two wires attached, now I'm going to slide it back. you got to push this piece in and then slide this back. Of course, be mindful not to catch any wires as you do it. Okay, now it's locked in place. You have to do that locked in place because the, um, the volume control is in the back and it actually is on the back side of the amplifier, so you've got to have this firmly in place so that you can get to that. Alright, next thing, I'm going to plug in this wiring harness. It's right here. Got two RCA jacks, one blue, one red. The side of your um, amplifier is marked blue and red. And, um, Basically, it's uh, your left and your right stereo. So I guess if you put them in backwards, you're just going to hear your stereo backwards. You know, left is going to right, right is left. Maybe some dyslexic people, that would be better. All right, so this just goes in here. There's bumps in here, so you can't put it in backwards. You can't put it in upside down. It only lets you go in one way. So that's firmly in place. These are firmly in place. I'm going to pull up on this wire so that it, nothing is stressing. Alright, now it's just time to hook up the wires on the front side, and there's three, and just like I had the uh, blue and the red RCA here, uh, those are what are coming in, uh, these are going out, the speakers. So you've got a black, a blue, and a red, but if you look at these, they're just dirty. So make sure when you're doing it that the blue and the black are different, because the red is going to go to the one that says red, blue is going to go here and black and go to either one of the bottom ground terminals. So that's next. Okay now with all these wires in place it's time to uh, plug it in. By the way this is a, uh, a little magnet on the back side of an LED flashlight. It's just really handy when you're working in because everything is dark in here no matter how much light you put on it. So anyway I've got all the wires hooked up. Next thing I'm just going to plug in the, the, uh, the main power down here to the power. And like all old jukeboxes, just be really fragile with everything. I mean, these wires are old. You always want to make sure that they have good connections. And you also want to make sure that you're not breaking anything as you're in here. Be very gentle. And also check for any loose wires, bad wires, cracked wires. Make sure you're not crimping anything as well. So anyway, oh, I did check this on a dim bulb tester prior to hooking it up here. Never just plug an amplifier in without checking it on a, a very accurate dim bulb tester. Or else you'll have, might have a big problem. Alright, it's time to plug this unit in and see if it works. Uh, I replaced the plug on this. If you ever have one that isn't, uh, the, th the ground pin is missing, I recommend strongly that you actually replace it. And this is hooked up um, through a GFCI and a surge suppressor too, so hopefully if there's something wrong with this amplifier, it won't do anything really bad and it will short the circuit out on the GFCI. Alright, I plugged it in and turned it on. Now let's see if this amplifier will work. It'll be the first time this amplifier's ever played. So um tell you what, let's do uh, a hard decision to make, huh? Uh, I've not cleaned this up yet. I'm trying to get it working uh, before I clean out all the into the box and retain it. 
see if will it play. I hear an amplifier, I hear noise. 